Remember that song, It's the Age of Aquarius? It's not the Age of Aquarius. It's not. You know what it is? The Age of Zed Creators. And everybody's doing those reviews. And so I'm going to hop on board. I'm not going to do a first impression. I've worn all of these, each of these three beautiful fragrances, at least two full wearings. And so first one I'm going to do, the Siren. That's right. Hit the music, baby. John Morrell, fragrance review. Here comes the swag. John Morrell, fragrance review. Here comes the swag. Fresh and dope like heroin soap. The lamb's got swag. All right, so I think everybody by now has seen the packaging, but I'll go through it quickly, quickly. Beautiful box. Love it. It's a picture of Adriana. I hope I'm saying that right. Adriana. And uh, I believe that's her boyfriend right there. All right. So I don't know. Uh, it's almost like getting a tattoo. I hope they last forever. Right? Because you get a tattoo with someone's name. You know what happens? I hope that's not true for me either, by the way. I have my wife's name tattooed on me. So, all right. So here's the bottle. Beautiful, beautiful bottle. Beautiful juice. I seem to have gotten a lot different types of feelings about this than everybody else. Uh, you know, I, I've been watching reviews and so it's interesting. Um, I feel a little differently about this than, than other people. Things like, it reminds me of an old leather bound book. I've heard things like it's a dress up fragrance. And, and I think everyone's life experiences kind of dictates how they feel about different scents and different visuals as well, uh, right? Because our, our experiences kind of influence us, I should say. Maybe not dictates, but influence the way we feel about things. And so, which is weird for me to say, but I, when I'm going to tell you what I think of this. But anyway, um, the notes, let's go. Top notes, coriander, cardamom, ginger, almond, middle notes, leather, dark chocolate, coffee, moss, base notes, uh, Lorino Lorinox. Now, I'm going to be honest and tell you, I don't know what that is. So let's find out together. Uh, Lorinox, Lorinox, a complex accord developed by Maine, which can be described as woody, ambery, leathery, and aromatic. Makes sense, actually, because, yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. Patchouli, cognac, bourbon, vetiver. All right. So what I get from this. So for me, I want two full wearings of this. And I get, when it, when you first put it on, I, I do get a little bit of the ginger, um, maybe a little almond. I think I always feel like almond. To me, all my almond fragrances are very smooth, which this is. So I always feel like it's the almond that smooths things out, almost like, you know, when people put a sandalwood in. I feel like almond kind of acts the same way. Um, but anyway, so uh, leather, I get, I get leather right away, for sure. For me, and that's why I said that the Lorinox makes sense because it also has a leather type scent. And for me, leather is throughout this fragrance. Uh, but the cognac, I get a sweet, I, I wouldn't be able to pinpoint that as cognac, but I'm assuming it's a, uh, the cognac is what gives it that sweet, leathery, and then the dark chocolate and there's a little bit of that. I don't get a lot of coffee, to be completely honest, but the vetiver is certainly there in the dry down. So for me, it opens up with right away. I get I get a sweet, I get a sweet, leathery, little bit of dark chocolate, but again, it, but it's a sweet leather, which is interesting to me. And I don't get a lot of coffee in this, which actually I'm kind of happy about. Um, there's very few. I, I do like coffee fragrances. I shouldn't say that, but I don't wear a lot of coffee fragrances. Uh, I'm, I always say I'm not that into edible type fragrances, you know, um, but I seem to be <laughs> this, this isn't to me, it isn't though. I mean, the leather keeps it from being gourmand to me, right? I know maybe people are going to call this a gourmand fragrance and I get that, but the leather keeps it from now. I don't now. Let me just say, I don't get the same thing that other people get out of this and all respect to, uh, everyone involved in the fragrance because this has again you everyone knows that I separate I've been able to do it with Jeremy fragrance and everybody else everyone knows I'm able to separate the 
creator of people involved in the creation from the fragrance. I don't judge fragrances based on who had a hand in creating them. I just don't, I try not to do that. So I'm going to tell you what I, what I thought right away. And again, maybe this has to do, which is weird to say, life experiences. I don't get necessarily, I'm not saying you can't wear this dressed up. It's not, can't, it's not possible for this to be upscale, but when I smelled this, here's what I got. Sexy. Now, when I say that, I'm not talking upscale sex. Like when I smelled this, I thought, oh, this is like sexy, sexy. Like, like if I walked into, if I was single, not single, but if I was single and I walked into my girlfriend's house or someone, I just started dating's house and I smelled this, I would be like, I'm about to have a night of fun for me, for me. This is like almost like, and again, all respect, it has nothing to do with who created it. Ross could have created this, and I would say the same thing. Uh, it's almost, I don't want to, get, almost like a kinky, sexy, like, I feel like it's super sensual, but then the leather gives it like, oh, there could be leather straps attached to that bed. That's what I get out of this. This is like a super, super sexy, about to get down fragrance. That's what I get out of this. I really do. I mean, I, the first time I put it on, I'm like, oh, this sounds like, this smells like something's about to go down. And for me, the, it, that sort of feeling lasts the life of the fragrance. Like, you, you know, I'm just picturing like candles. Uh, maybe you have a glass of, of booze. It could be cognac. I mean, again, that's what this is in this, but it could be cognac. It could be any, you know, some rum, whatever. And you know, you know, maybe you're going to have a little dinner, but you know, you're doing this in house. You're not going out. You're at the table, just the two of you having a nice intimate dinner, but you know what's through the door of that bedroom, but you're not sure. There could be leather straps attached to the bedpost. That's what I get out of this fragrance. I really do. It's one of the sexiest fragrances that I've smelled in a long time. Um, I, I, I would, I would. Um, now again, I don't know if if uh, Curly Sims would appreciate any of my, uh, you know, again, uh, but any of my take on this. But I will say that this actually a little tiny, tiny bit goes down the same. It's a more modern take, in my opinion, but it goes down the same path as Barbados Dark Rebel with a leather that has leather, rum, sugar cane. This has a very similar vibe to it, but I think it's a little more modern. You know, where um, I've had people, many people say Dark Rebel, they like the smell, but it does sound like it's for an older gentleman, which um, I assume I... I assume they mean someone my age uh, when they say that, uh, 50 or so. Uh, so this this smells like it could be worn by anyone. So I, th I, th I think it's a little younger, but I do think it goes down the same. It's the same vibe, right? Because it's sweet, it's leathery. Um, the dark chocolate's there in the beginning, but it, I, for me, it fades a little bit and it just stays very leathery, but it's sensual leather. Again, this is like a crazy sexy vibe for me. It just is. And, and uh, I... I think that you can wear this again. This is more fall, winter, very cold nights. But I think for me, this would be like, oh, you know, uh, I for my wife, if I, you know, me and my wife are alone. My my son goes, he's seventeen now, goes to work. I think uh, this is what I'd be wearing. This is this is like the get down to business, not the Ross kind of business. Uh, get down to pleasure kind of fragrance. That's what I'm. That, that's what I get out of this. This is just a dope ass sexy fragrance it just is and so i don't mean any let me just say this because you know i always kind of worry about because it's a uh you know a female creator I, I i'm just telling you what i get out of this it could ross could have created it justin could have created it i would say the same thing about this this is a very very sexy fragrance i do not even think about when i when i uh smell of fragrance, who created it or, or anything like that. So this is just a sexy fragrance. Uh, anyone could have created it. Uh, and I would say the same thing. And to me, it's not as, uh, you know, again, I, I watch all these and, and everyone gets something different out of it. They're right too. Everybody's right. Your, your personal life experiences do influence how you feel about anything in life. And for me, this is like, Ooh, yeah, let's get down. This, that's what this is. Uh, so this is one of the sexy, in fact, I'm not going to say one of, I think this is the sexiest fragrance I own. You know, I think this is along the same lines when, when you talk about sexy as uh, the one EDP. Uh, I think that's also a sexy fragrance, but I think this is sexier. And I think this is, I don't want to say dirtier, but, 
but dirtier, you know, dirtier, like kinkier, you know, and and so uh, there you go. That that's my take on this fragrance. If you like that type of thing, and I do think it's unisex. Obviously, listen, like I said, if I, I if I if I came home, my wife had this on. I'd be happy. So there you go, my friends. That is my take on the siren. The siren. Just get your nose on it if you can. Get a sample if you can. Is it backup bottle worthy? Depends how much action you get. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, listen, absolutely. This is a 10 out of 10 for what it is. You know, everything, again, I think it's fall, winter, maybe, maybe, maybe cold nights in general. Any night you're about to get down, this is a fragrance. So, man, it depends how much you get down, I guess, how much you use this fragrance. But that, to me, is what it is for. Congratulations, Curly Sense, Adriana, and congratulations, Saharoff. Uh, yeah, listen, you guys knocked it out of the park. I mean, this is just dope as F. Dope AF, right? There you go. All right, thank you very much. And you know what time it is. We out. John Morrell, Fragrance Review. Here comes the swag. John Morrell, Fragrance Review. Here comes the swag. Fresh and dope, like heroin soap. The man's oh, got yeah. swag.